back in New Douglas Park for the final game of the Premier Sports Cup and Aki's need to get a result today against Queen Park if we have any chance of progressing to the next round. John Rankin's made one change to the team, Johnny and Gandu drops out for Andy Winter. It's a strong team, probably the strongest we've got available, but as I think Alan it was said on Twitter, not a huge amount of strength and height in the team, but we just don't have that. It's not as if, you know, if there's a few strong players on the bench we can bring in, there isn't. So we're going to want to keep the ball in the deck as much as possible today. Any long high balls up, something we complained about last time out, any long high balls, it's not going to do us any good. We need to keep the ball in the deck and get it into the feet of your Lewis Smiths, your Andy Ryan, Andy Winters, and see if they can create something. So I'm a confident of a win today. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to see Aki's win it, but as we know, we need to get a result here just to be in with a chance to progress. So let's, fingers crossed, we get something here and other results go our way. There it is! Andy Winter gets it started. 1-0. It's a ball over the top from Lewis Smith. He needs it down perfectly, gets in front of the defender, and it's a lovely shot into the bottom corner. Puts Aki's 1-0 up really early on. Come on! Yeah. Well, it's half time and it's Aki's 1 Queen's Park now. Andy Winter getting the goal as I've just described. I mean, it's a really hard working first half display. And it's that, that's the kind of team that I expected John Rankin to kind of put out into field. I did this hard work and it's in your face, but we also played some nice stuff at times. You know, we played the majority of the game in the Queen's Park half, if not the final third. So the Queen's Park half threatened once or twice coming forward, but it's been little half shots, little half chances. Not really having enough to threaten Ryan Fulton quite yet. And as things stand, I believe we're going through in the cup. As things stand, that of course can all change. I don't even know if you're able to hear me over this music, but a good first half performance by Aki's. It's about 15 minutes left here and Queen's Park have come into it a lot more. They've actually scored, but it's been uh, classes offside, rightly so. A little bit feisty between Louis Longridge and Matty Shields before Longridge get, took, uh, get taken off. Very early scored here from the corner. Teams for a penalty, but they gave it the other way. And we have 15 minutes to go. Queen's Park make it one each. In the last five, 10 minutes, I would say the goal's probably been coming. They've been putting a lot of pressure on. There's been some fiery interchange between Coyle and, and John Rankin. Like I said the goal's, pro the goal's probably been coming. Um, but one each now. Still 50 minutes left though. So the game's finished one each, which means it obviously goes to penalties. I still believe though that means we are out of the cup though because we needed to win in order to get through because of the best second place team. So these penalties really mean nothing, but it goes to penalties anyway for us to get an extra point. So another game done, that's your third goal in the, the group stage. How did you feel was the run out today? Aye, um, I thought we started the game really well. First half I think we did a bit of but second half I just kind of think we were off the pace a wee bit. We kept it allowing in the middle of the game and if you allow teams into the game, we saw what happens there. First, first half, like you said, is we really were organised, we were tenacious, the work rate was excellent. Is that something that the gaffers kind of embedded in ease over the last few weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sort of, the gaffers and brothers just came in and, and we, we were organised first half and it's all, all down to what he does in the training ground and that. But I think second half, just old habits kind of keep in. Um, 
what we've been doing in the past and, and that really has to go for the start of next week for the league starting. Right, and for yourself, obviously the, the goal came early on, but it was one of those, you take your chance, you get your rewards. Um, what does that mean for you personally and for yourself in the campaign? Yeah, no, I know if I got a chance at that, I got a good chance at hitting the back of the net and I just need to get more of them coming. I'm, I need a bit, I need to stop just scoring one goal through game, uh, a game and maybe make it two or three um, and take the pressure off us at the back a wee bit. But I know if I get a chance, I've got a good chance of sticking it away. Um, just need to create more of them. Eh? It's now all focused on the league now, obviously. How are you feeling ahead of kicking that off against Morton next week? Yeah, um, no, we're always going to be confident. It's a game we can win, especially here. A uh, good uh, tournament for the fans and that as well to, to uh, get us over the line. Um, but I, we, we start the way we played in the first half. We keep that going for the game. I've got no doubt we'll take up three points next week. And finally, you just signalled to come off uh, just before your sub. Hit. Any niggles to worry I, about? No, I just rolled my ankle a bit. I'll be fine for next week. Mate. I think we leave a bit frustrated because the first half we were actually really good. We started off excellent, which is exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Dominated the first half, had chances, but we're one nil up. But the second half's a wee bit of a different story. I think if we didn't keep the ball as well, we end up dropping a wee bit deeper. And um, that's where the frustration comes from because uh, it was there for us, you know, one nil up going at half time. But you know, it's a can spark, you know, it's a good side and you expect that. But I felt we could have done more to, to win the game, so it was a little bit disappointing. I was disappointed not to not to be progressing in this cup because I think after the Dundee game, our target was nine points. I've obviously only got eight points, but um, you know, the fact that we're not through it was a bit disappointing. But there's lots of positives to take through into next week um, from the last few games, um, especially some of the stuff we played over the last three games. You know, young boys making debuts and all that. So those are really good things. But there's stuff, as you say, um, that we can work on and that. And if they fix, can make us stronger going into this league campaign. So, I mean, we'll look to be as, as um, you know, productive and, and positive as possible and, and fixing the things that went wrong and, and keep doing the things that went right. That's a, a few gaffers that you've been under now over the last few years. What do you feel is the kind of standout things that are different under John Rankin, if there are any? I mean, listen, I think um, obviously when we went for a while without a, a manager and not knowing what all the boys were really pleased to. To see it was ranks were going to step in that seat because uh, you know boys have a lot of respect for him. They, they you know they love him, love him training. So and he brings that sort of enthusiasm and the, that, the standards and the drive that you expect John Rankin to bring. So um, I think there's there has been a real buzz about the place. I think it adds a wee bit of energy to the place and a wee buzz. So I think we, even though the disappointment are not going through this um, cup of competition, I think there is a wee buzz about the place and we're all absolutely buzzing to go for for the league campaign next, next uh, week and, and hopefully we can get off the real positive start. Yeah, it wasn't about any new signs by any chance? We're trying, it? we're trying. Uh, the important thing is not to, not to rush into anything just yet. It needs to be the right, the right guys, but we're, we're, we're trying to get bodies in to help the, the ones that are here and hopefully we can do that in the coming, the coming weeks. I don't know if we'll get over the line before Saturday, uh, but we're, we're trying. We are trying to get bodies in. Uh, uh, today uh, was probably an example of we need we need players to help the ones that are here. Uh, so hopefully, as I said, over the next days and weeks, uh, we can do that and, and help the boys that are, are here. We need to add quality. We need to add quality to the group. People that are going to push for start positions. Uh, I've always said quantity uh, doesn't become as important as what the quality does. Can you say where that you're looking at? Oh, it's a secret. I think everybody's looking for the same sort of thing. So right, right now, I'm, I'm not too keen in, in, in saying where. Uh, I think when, you, when you're in a position that we are square in the game, you're going to go up within the first five minutes to, to, to get the second goal kills. I think we've been fair. The Queen's part of the defended well. I think they clear three, three headers off the goal line, uh, which is impressive in itself, but it's disappointing for our, our, our half because we've got to try and do better with it. Uh, but when you, when you look at it, we've probably got other chances to be, to be more ruthless than we didn't, we didn't take them chances. Uh, and it gives them a, an opportunity to come the game. And to be fair, I thought the second half, they put the huddles in the back foot for a, for a good period of time. And that was disappointing. We, we never got out, we never squeezed. We, we began to feel safe in the game and try to protect them one the lead. Whereas if we'd have probably went for the, the, the second goal, we'd have, we'd have made that a lot, of, but a lot better in the afternoon. And maybe a bit easier afternoon. Listen, I'm, I'm delighted with Andy. Obviously, Andy was only changed from the starting line up uh, this week, mm -hmm. uh, from, from last. And uh, he, he comes on and he contributes to the, the goals. 
uh, whether that be a starting position or, a, or, or from off the bench. But he causes problems. He's always wanting to get a shot away. He wants to be uh, the target man, the, the, the number nine that, that can go and score goals. Unfortunately, he took a wee knock. He just in front of us, just maybe, maybe about 10 minutes before he came off, actually. So we tried to squeeze a wee bit more out because we knew how important and valuable he is to the team. But unfortunately, he had to come off. Uh, so I hope it's a knock that he's nursed this week and hopefully he's all right for Saturday. But he's, as you say, he's called today, great strike, but he's always in the right place at the right time and hopefully he can get plenty more goals in his tally this season. We need, we need to kill the game when we're on top, and, and unfortunately, we didn't do that, do, do, do that today. I thought the first period, uh, first 10 15 minutes, I thought we were relentless. We were on the front foot, we were trying to create chances. We'd, uh, we're looking forward, we're playing forward and we're running forward and the, the, the modern game we need to be able to run in. Today I felt we did that in the first 45, the second 45 we began to feel safe so if we can get the players to believe that the first 45 minutes is how we want to play and how they want to play then it becomes uh, imperative that we do that going forward and hopefully it at least a successful season. And Sheena was telling us that despite going out of the cup, there is still a bit of a buzz in the dressing room looking ahead to the league. Are you feeling that as well? Aye, listen, you came off the back of the game, but the disappointment is we never get in the next round of the, the cup. That's, that's a huge disappointment today. But you've got to look at it as a, a positive for the first 45 minutes. The performance, the chances we created uh, are really pleasing. Uh, and then you, you go and win the penalty shootout, so it keeps that momentum going. But at the same time, it's disappointing because the, the, the sole focus today was to win the game. You win the game, you know you're in the next round of the cup. Uh, it's taking care of your own business and we never took care of it today. So disappointed for that point of view. Uh, the players are disappointed in the second half performance, as am I. Uh, but that's that's actually pleasing because the, we're setting standards and we need to live to these standards. And if we can do that and uh, raise these standards and raise the bar, then it's going to be successful. So we need to continue to believe what we're doing. Feel good factor, yep, great. But... We need to make sure it's the deal good factors on a Saturday at 5 o'clock. We've off the pitch, we've rolled our sleeves up, we've worked hard together and we've won together.